Chairman of the Presidential Leadership Council, Rashad Al Alimi, met yesterday the UN envoy Hans Grimberg, who visited Aden for the third time this month. The president of the PLC stressed on the importance of pushing the militia to open all the roads to Taiz and other governors. The following report has more details. UN Special Envoy for Yemen, Grandberg, held meetings in Aden today with President Rashad Al Alimi and the Presidential Leadership Council, as well as Foreign Minister Bin Mubarak Ahmed to continue discussions on reopening roads in Taiz and renewing the truce. Discussions focused on the need to deliver results for civilians in Taiz and across Yemen. Mr. Granberg noted that renewing the truce is critical to solidify benefits delivered so far and to provide space to move towards a political settlement. This came after the talks that began on Wednesday in the Jordanian capital Amman between the delegations of the Yemeni government and the Houthi group to discuss opening roads in Taiz and the rest of the regions to enable residents to exercise their right to freedom of movement. However, the militia is still insisting on closing the road and aggravating the suffering of four Taiz residents. The difficult humanitarian conditions in Taiz necessitate prioritizing lifting the siege during the current talks, especially in light of the ongoing truce and the implementation of some of its provisions, such as stopping the military operations and conducting the first commercial flight from Sana'a International Airport in six years. The siege has plunged the country into a humanitarian crisis. The prices of basic foodstuffs have risen dramatically as a result of the high costs of transportation due to the lengthy, dangerous routes. The country also suffers from a lack of portable water and poor medical services, especially for those with chronic diseases. Those who live in the countryside have to travel long distances on dangerous roads to reach the city and get medical treatment. According to the international organizations, the Houthi group should fulfill its commitment under the agreement, open roads and crossings in ties to end its isolation from the rest of the Yemeni government rates and not delay or link this humanitarian file with other political issues.